Hi guys, in this video I'll show you how to create a NFC reader just like this so that you can use with your security alarm in home assistant. Alarm is set to armed away. Please exit and close the door. The alarm has been disarmed. Now I'll show you step by step how you can create this, the parts you need and how to program it. But this is thanks to Andrea Dono and his GitHub project. You find the link in the description for his project where you can see a picture how to assemble it, the, the script codes and all the parts needed. Now, you can see mine. I haven't bothered to make a case for it. it, doesn't look bad as it is. I'm gonna open it up and see what's inside. Now this is the one I made. Okay. So I'll show you in a minute. For this, what we need is a PN532 NFC reader, which is this red board. We need a ESP8266 Mini D1, which is this board. This is the micro USB version. Okay, it comes in different versions. For example, the one I'm using in my project is this one, which is the V3 USB type C. Okay, then you got the V4, which is USB type C as well. I have tried all the versions and they all work fine. Okay, this is another one. The advantage for this, you see, it doesn't have the shield on top. If you notice this, this has got a shield on top of it, and you can't see the BIOS chips. This doesn't, and you've got the Wi-Fi chip in here, and you've got the BIOS chip. If it doesn't work, you can flush it manually. Okay. You also need a active 5 volts buzzer, which is something like this. And you need the WS2812 LEDs. These are RGB LEDs, which is something like this. I have also purchased some 8 by 2 centimeters double-sided prototype PCBs and you can see I joined them together with this now when you get the PN532 it comes in a box this board with a bunch of these contacts one of these white cards, credit card style, and a keychain like this. Alarm is set to arm the alarm okay. has been disarmed. The eighty two sixty six as well it comes with a bunch of these pins and that is pretty much what you need now first thing I'll recommend is flushing the 8266 just in case you get a bad card you don't waste the time uh, soldering it 
in my case one of the mini v3 micro usb card is damaged i'll show you later it doesn't allow me to flush it the other one it's okay so what you do is first you flush it we'll see that later after that you see the card you get you get eight holes in one side and eight in the other one you see they numbered rst a1 d0 d5 d6 d7 d8 three volts and the other one are tx rx d1 d2 d3 d4 ground and five volts we need to use this part in here the five volt one okay so you grab one of these headers and you stick it into these holes yeah first think how you want to mount it for example if you want to mount it like me like this sandwich type one on top of the other one then you put the pins sticking up on the side of the antenna on the pn532 you do it the opposite way with the pins you see not like here with the pins on the other side you see but that's just the way you connect it, it doesn't actually matter okay so you stick these pins let's see this an example you stick these pins whatever you want the other pins now you have to run some cables so you have four pins in here which are labeled you see you got ground on the right side you got vcc which is the five volts you got sda and you got sl scl now this has to run all the way to the sp8266 d1 okay so how you connect it like i said they label so ground pin goes to the seventh pin on the header which is marked with g the vcc goes to the five volts pin which is the last pin the scl pin which is the first pin go to the third pin which is marked d1 and the sda pin goes to the fourth pin which is marked d2 okay after that you need to wire the led for the led you see on this side you have vcc which is five volts as well which is bridged with this five volts in here and you get ground which is ground okay so in order not to cut or solder in here you can take the five volts and the ground from here from this side of the board okay so from here you need the five volts goes to the led okay let's have a look at the led okay the led has an input and an output you see the arrow down its input 
up its output. You need to connect it to the input. Okay. So, where it says 5 volts, you connect this cable all the way to the 5 volts of the PN532. Now, for the ground bit, you need to run two wires from here. Okay. You connect together two wires. You see the ground and the black. One of them goes to the ground of the LED, which is the one on the right, is marked with minus. And the other one, the brown, goes to the buzzer minus. You see the buzzer has a plus and it has a minus. You connect this ground to this ground together with the LED. Then, in the middle of the LED, you have a data can connection. You see this green wire. This green wire, you connect it back to the ESP8266 to the D8 pin, data 8. And from the buzzer, now you see the black, the, the, the blue cable. This runs all the way to the ESP8266 to the D7. Now, you could change to another header in here, to another connection, but you need to change the script then. So, if you want to maintain it, D7 to the plus of the buzzer, D8 to the data connection on the LED. And this is how it looks. Okay. Now, if you want to join them together with this, you can cut these two sides like this and connect them like me. You see, let me show you why. You see. This header goes in here, the other ones goes in here, then you run the cables to connect them, and this is pretty much it. You can even stack them side by side with the same board, like this, and then use the case that Andrea has in his project. That is whatever you want. I don't think it looks bad like this. Now, the NFC reader card has an LED on it. What I did is use a bit of double-sided tape and you put the WS2812 on top of it so it doesn't actually light up. The board doesn't heat up. So it's pretty perfect. Now, another thing you should change, you see you've got some deep switches in here. According to the project, these deep switches change the type of communications between the D1 Mini and the NFC card. Now, for the latest version, the version 4 of the, of the script, Andrea changed the communication to I2C. So, for that, you need to change pin 1 up, pin down, pin 2 down. So, it's on pin 1, off pin 2. Okay, you have a little legend in here which tells you the communication type you see i2c in the middle one zero one is up zero is down okay so this is for the hardware bit okay now, let's go to the computer and I'll show you how to flash it. 
but before we go to the second part to the software bit here's some cases that I had printed okay so this is how it looks inside this one or sandwich type something like this then we have another model like this we have this have with the vertical logo this has a cutout for the buzzer and if you notice closely some of them even have like a cutout for the LED and you have the marble style so this is it We'll now go to the second part where we're gonna program it and see if they work. Thank you for watching. If you like the video and uh, found to be helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.